totally, totally unexpected. I really didn't intend to buy more podcasts. But anyway, it's just a small little thing. Okay, so let's get straight into the unboxing. So, but before that, guys, uh, if you're uh, into this kind of stuff, we appreciate if you uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Recently, Google, I'm not sure what's going on in terms of the algorithm, but for the same amount of views, I get very, very little, much, much lesser revenue than I already get, which is not a lot. So, we really appreciate if you like, share, subscribe, and also uh, leave a comment on my video. So let's get straight into the Dior unboxing. So this is the folder with the uh, receipt inside. It's Dior Pavilion. So my usual essay wasn't around because he's Chinese. I think he's on leave. So I just want to get something small. So I just walked in. So as usual, Dior packaging is really pretty. Hmm, I just realized it didn't give me a star. But anyway. But anyway, yep. Okay, there's a big star on the box anyway. The blue ribbon now and let's get right into it and i'll show you uh, what fits into this compact wallet and then um, kind of share with you my first impressions it comes in a dust bag uh, resting on a bed of tissue as usual really nice packaging at dior and tada i got a red this is a deep plum red, I think it's called. And it's the classic Lady Dior a canage quilting wallet in pattern leather. Uh, as you can see, it is a compact wallet. It is really reasonably priced in my opinion. Also, that's why I got it. I wanted a um, something compact uh, to use in my small bags. So let's see how I'm going to show you what fits. Let's undo this part, which holds the... Uh, Dior charms. Haven't bought anything from Dior in such a long time. I mean, I've been like incredibly focused at Hermes and also I don't really think I've been shopping like indiscriminately recently. I've been like, you know, been quite um, cautious with what I buy lately. So let's remove the dust bag thing here. And this are uh, the uh, tiny charms. So obviously, because it's a smaller wallet, the size of the charms are also smaller. Let's remove this and then I'll show you uh, what fits in this little wallet. So for me, usually I think Chinese New Year is the best time because it's the start of a, a Lunar New Year um, to buy wallets. I mean, maybe I'm like a little bit superstitious. I wanted something bright but not too bright. A little bit of struggle if I got it out and then this is the Dior label as you can see the tag and then um, it comes with like you know these cards that usually comes in these SLGs for kind of stuffing. Actually I'm not sure what they do. I'm not sure how functional these really are but uh, as you can tell there are quite a lot of compartments for this compact little wallet so there is a uh, pocket here that you can definitely use for um, coins and then um, one two three four five six six slots that you can use for cards and another extra uh, kind of back pocket here which is really really useful for parking tickets etc so today I was using my uh, mini cocoa handle or small cocoa handle with my Kelby Duo, which you can see is kind of stuffed up. So let's transfer the stuff in here into the new wallet and let's see how it works. 
uh, I have quite a lot of cards actually so you can tell here I'm going to transfer all of them on into the new wallet so obviously everything fits nicely I have about eight cards that I fitted the stuff that I don't really use that much here and then those that I use more credit cards debit card ID here at the uh, easier to reach places and then another card here which is my touch and go kind of a payment card and I think the big difference with this is that you notice know, actually the Kelby actually you can keep a lot of cards it's just that it's not organized separately especially when you have a lot of cash so you know usually I have to fold my cash um, for the Kelby duo and obviously for the um, say Chanel coin, boy, coin purse that I used to use so um, you know finally I'm getting a proper wallet I don't know why suddenly of a sudden uh, compact one so that it's easier to find cash right so the cash obviously it's gonna go in this big compartment here I have about like uh, I think a few hundred ringgit here so this is how it looks guys and of course I'm gonna transfer the coins that I have in here into the new wallet I'm actually just transferring for the sake of this video because uh, when I get a new wallet I don't use it immediately I will um, you know kind of let it rest a little bit call me superstitious or whatever but yeah obviously the coin compartment is larger than the one on the Kelby and so this is how it looks guys a cute compact little wallet in the uh, deep red burgundy almost pattern with the uh, classic Dior charms and I think it kind of matches my uh, Alhambra in carnelian as well oh say sorry guys I must, might as well show you how it fits into a small bag so the uh, cocoa handle is not a huge bag as you can see and I have stuff inside um, so let me remove this and this container and so it is obviously bulkier than the Calvi uh, but still quite a compact little wallet which I really like and it was between this one and the saddle uh, style wallet with the D and which is actually slimmer but I really like the canache quilting so I decided to go for this one and so it is still a compact wallet that will obviously fit into most small bags as you can see so yeah let me know what guys what you think but I think I want your comments on the Dior Caro like kind of the briefcase looking bag that I tried on earlier um, um, in the footage in front I'll insert some photos here as well let me know what you think I know that I've already saw, sworn off like small bags but that is really cute and you know the capacity for that is really quite big obviously I'm not going to use it for meetings and stuff but definitely on weekends and you know even on Fridays or whenever I go to the office and I don't need to attend like a formal meeting so I think it's still fine to change things up because I always have a separate bag for a laptop anyway so yeah guys this is my latest purchase uh, and also I'm gonna do a collection of my small leather goods uh, soon I don't have a huge SLG collection and then I'll share with you why I don't think it's necessary to have a huge SLG collection especially now I think a lot of people are very conscious of the purchases and not you know buying indiscriminately and not just you know hauling and hauling and hauling because it's mm, I don't know gets a bit old and I think it's like really excessive I mean that's my opinion of course uh, but I do know that unboxing videos are still like the most popular ones on YouTube let me know why I think I guess it's it can be quite exciting the unboxing moment but then there's lots of packaging to deal with so um, yep this is my latest purchase guys I'll do a proper review of this wallet after I get to use it for at least I guess six months and um, forgive me if I'm not po not going to be posting as much as usual because uh, work is going to be really busy and today is just a surprise unboxing so do let me know if you like that bag um, and leave me a comment let me know what your wish list is at Dior and what uh, you you look for in an SLG so I love both of these but I just wanted something red uh, for Chinese New Year this time and yep 
that's all for today guys and do let me know if you have any specific requests for videos i'll try my best to do it and again happy chinese new year today is the seventh day uh, there's like uh, there are 15 days in total so we still have some time to celebrate and i'm still on leave even though i've been doing some work uh, from home but still getting to celebrate chinese new year this time so uh, i'll see you really really soon guys bye